Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Moon, and today we're going to be continuing The Charming Empire with Koichi though, Sarah's part. So we're going to start episode 5. I apologize for the last one being long. I was getting annoyed at them not lining up the story times. I'm walking along the main street. As always, Sarah is with me as my bodyguard, and he makes me feel safe. The fact that I'm a princess hasn't been announced to the public for security reasons, but information can leak so we can't let our guard down. Sarah always reminds me of this, so I try to be careful at all times. Right now, he's leading me to his favorite shop. Where are we going? Oh, he's a reader. Do you like to read? Your brakes. Does he have brakes now? I feel like he's always with me. Just as I'm about to ask, he stops in his tracks. I gaze up at the building in front of us. It's an old wooden building that looks dark on the inside. Even though it looks close, Sarah strides right in and I follow behind. The inside of the store is packed with books. They're not only on the bookshelves, but also overflowing onto the nearby de chairs and desks. An old man sits to the side with a mug in one hand and a newspaper in the other. He doesn't show any sign of greeting us. Sarah gazes up at the top shelf and speaks. That's not true. I like reading too, apparently. I used to read all the time in the countryside. Uh, can I buy something here? I change the subject before I get depressed. Really? I didn't know that. Can you take me there sometime? でもそうなると本当にここに来たい意味がなくなってしまうな。お前の興味を引くものを数冊買っていくか。That's okay. It'll take too long for me to choose. Just looking at all the books makes my heart pound with excitement. You can buy something if you like. いや、俺はお前の付き添いだ。I'm fine with just looking today. I'll buy a lot next time, so don't worry about me. Sarah doesn't look convinced at first, but he ends up picking out a few books for himself to buy. I feel bad about being pushy, but Sarah doesn't seem mad. In fact, I'm relieved he looks happy with his purchases. I'm glad he gets to do something for himself for a change since he doesn't get braces with my bodyguard and only re-eats a rice ball a day. I'm glad you're having fun. I just wanted to pay you back for your services, and I wanted to see where you usually go. Sarah looks away, and for a second it looks like he's smiling. I don't know anything about this town. Next, it's my turn to pick a destination. I want to go to a cafe. There is an article about them in the newspaper. Do you know where we can find one? I'm sure. The festival looks like a lot of fun, but I don't know when I'll ever get to come to town again. I want you to take me to interesting places. I smile at him. He stares at me for a minute before glancing at a group of young girls on the street. Wow. That made me a little bit depressed. He doesn't know much about cafes, but he agrees to take me to one of the famous ones. Yuck, this is bitter. When we entered a cafe, I order what the person next to me ordered. The drink I get. Smells great, but I can't help making a face of the bitter taste. Sarah replies calmly. You should have told me that earlier. It smelled really good. Tears come to my eyes on my second sip. I don't really want any more, but I don't want to waste it either. It's even more bitter than Earl Grey. Ever since I came to the palace, I've been drinking Earl Grey from my teacups. I can drink it plain, but it's even better with sugar cube. My tea is always served with some kind of sweet treat, so tea time is my favorite time of day. I wonder if this will taste better with sugar. I take a sugar cube out of the bowl in front of me and drop it into the coffee. The white sugar melts into the black coffee and I stir it around with a spoon. I take another sip, but it's still bitter. It's still bitter. When I add two more sugar cubes, the bitterness goes away, but it's still not very good. I re reluctantly take a small sip. So Sarah picks up my cup in his big hand. He says says is right in front of me. Blah. He says is right in front of the cafe owner without any tact at all. When my eyes meet the cafe owners, I quickly explain. 
Uh, it's not disgusting, I just can't handle bitter things. Um, I don't want to drink it, but I can't say that in front of the cafe owner. As I struggle to find the right words, Sarah sighs. <sighs> So you Namikaze Tatanai Tayomo. Wadakua Nai no Kamoshirenaiga. Sarah starts drinking my coffee. He makes a face with all the sugar in it, but continues to gulp it down. Whew! I don't stop him to drink my leftovers. I don't try to stop him, but I'm afraid I'll make him spill. As I wave my arms in the air, Sarah finishes the last drops. He just drank out of my cup. Th that's that's the thing that you think about. <laughs> Not nothing. It's so embarrassing to be looked at so closely that I turn away. Okay. For some reason, the redness in my cheeks won't go away. I hide my face for a few minutes to calm down before looking up again. Sarah looks bored as he drinks a glass of water. Sarah glances at me. That's not true. I love the feel of this place and I'm having fun. Sarah doesn't look convinced. Something sweet? Cafes have desserts? I just wanted to come to an upper class place. I heard cafes were all the rage in the capital. You're probably right. Thanks for bringing up all of the things that make me unhappy. No, now you're good. I need to study up on this country's culture so I don't embarrass myself abroad when I go marry my foreign prince. It makes me feel a little better that he's trying to cheer me up. Just as I start feeling sad, a plate is set in front of me. The white plate has a fragrant pastry on it with cream inside. It's a cute pastry that's not small enough to fit in the palm of my hand. I'm pretty sure it's called a cream puff. It's so cute. I reach out my hand for it, but stop midway. C can I eat it? I have a feeling that it might be bad manners to eat this cute pastry with your hands. There might be a certain type of etiquette I need to follow. The waiter who brought the plate speaks softly to me before walking away. Okay, thank you. I pick up the pastry and hesitantly take a bite. The crisp sweetness fills my mouth. Yum! It's so delicious that I raise my voice, making Sarah chuckle. I can just imagine them getting angry at me, so she would speak to me in a calm and quiet voice while my tutor would yell at me with burning eyes. Giggle. I was just laughing at how funny it would be for Soshi and my tutor to get mad at me at the same time. I put my mouth over my hand as I giggle. I said, my mouth over my hand. I'm like talking way too much right now. But you don't get mad at me, so... I'm glad you're with me today. Sarah gives me a quiet, strange look. <laughs> it's not really a compliment, it's more like I want us to go out together again. Sarah puts on a bitter face. Is he blushing? Oh my god, he's blushing. I wait for him to answer as I watch him finish his water, but he keeps his mouth shut. I'm a little sad, but suddenly realize this is the first time Sarah and I have sat next to each other and talked like this. You're sitting with me today. He's always standing at attention behind me. Okay. Yes, yes, that's a good... A good answer. Sarah talks like it's the most natural thing in the world, but his words make me smile. Yeah, let's go. We stand up and walk out the door. When we leave the cafe, the sun is already starting to set. We stayed in the cafe longer than I thought, but we still have time. But rather than visiting all the places I want to go, I want to go somewhere both Sarah and I can get enjoy. As we start to walk around again, the sky is dyed a bright red and the street lights seem to start turning on. But we just got here. But I don't want him to get in trouble, so I say yes. When I reluctantly agree, Sarah answers quietly. 
When I do, will you come with me? I guess that's true. Suddenly an alarm goes off in the crowded main street. What? What's going on? A man runs by us yelling. Fire! I'm not the only one surprised. Everyone starts running around in panic when they realize what's going on. Before I get caught up in the crowd, Sarah pulls me into an alley and we watch the people dash by. Sarah's grim face makes me feel anxious. Are the houses okay? And I hope... okay. Oh no! That can't be good. I hope no one was hurt. My face clouds over with worry. Uh... Whoever sets a fire might not end there. You shouldn't move around too much. You're right, but what should we do? Sarah pulls me with him by the shoulders. We walk through the alleys between buildings and get to a big street. I'm glad I'm not alone, but anxiety swirls inside of me. I didn't know anything when I was living at the palace, but now I know the town is a dangerous place. I was only called here to prepare myself for marrying abroad, but I wonder if there's anything I can do. I might be naive for thinking I can do something with my limited knowledge, but... I have to give it a try. Wow, it's getting... pretty... crazy. Alright guys, I'm gonna stop it here, and I'm probably gonna stop talking now because I'm tripping over all my words. I appreciate you watching this, and if you have any comments or concerns about the game, go ahead and comment them down below. If you like this, I appreciate it if you gave a like, and if you want more content on reviews, Otome games, other games, sometimes walkthroughs, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next one.